This is Captain Frick and his first mate Pietru. We decided to chuck everything, leave the rat race and just embark on a new adventure. And that is our new home, Sisu. Join us on our epic journey as we sail the oceans, discovering new horizons, new cultures, new tastes, new flavors, new everything. It's just such a vast, vast world to explore out there. So please join us in our quest. about to pass that little island and it's so misty you cannot see it actually but you can barely barely see it and they claim to have a light there and I claim to have a cardinal but I don't see the cardinal and I also didn't see the light but it is foggy you see this island when you zoom out, it's gone. That's the two mile, five mile radius, five mile. And only when you can see the two and a half mile radius, you can see the little island. And it is an island. Look, it's, it's land. Here it is. There is a light beacon on it, looks like. So there was a southern cardinal, a south cardinal. The American system apparently don't have cardinals. <laughs> so, but the AIA, uh, the A system does have the cardinals, and the B system also show them. But apparently, the Americans doesn't know about cardinals. So southern cardinal is standing on the southern side of an error. And the same for Northern Cardinal standing on the northern side of, of, of uh, obstruction or some thing that can cause harm to your vessels. And I thought I didn't see the Southern Cardinal, but it is there. It's very, very faint. I will try to zoom in. And then there is also bigger boats that's not on IIS. Look at that one. But it does show up on the radar. That little spot over there. See that purple one? That's the that's the ship. Okay, so oh, that's the island, and uh, that is the the ship that we the ghost ship, and uh, that is the cardinal. So we can even pick up the cardinals. It's good to know that the radar can pick that up. So this is a nice downwind sail. Yeah, I know the sun is not uh, very good, but this is the, I would say, the most easterly point 
of Tunisia because now we're going south and then we will go to Amamay. <laughs> it just feels so good. And here's a mono coming past us, can you imagine? I think they say the same. Here's a cat coming past us. Can you imagine? <laughs> uh, always good to see another yati. So while I'm enjoying the view, Pietro is busy sloshing it out, trying to make our viewers happy, you people happy, our family and friends at home. I want to know what we're doing, what we see and what we experience. So she's trying to update them with a movie. And of course the viewers too. And we're going to pick up a Patreon in, in Turkey. Hmm, imagine that. The second Patreon on Sisu. Welcome to Tunisia. On our way to Hamamit. Sun is setting. We arrived here at 5 o'clock this morning and we anchored outside the Hamamit Marina. Uh, we just discovered loads of fishing nets all around. Uh, they've just seen the dinghy. Is called us into the marina. Lamb. And they, they take it to the carcass and they point out what part of the lamb do you want. You know, do you want the rib or do you want the leg? <laughs> so then he takes like an axe and he butchers off the leg and <laughs> it's a rib and then he, he asks me how much, you yeah, know, how much and then he butchers it again. <laughs> and he passed me the leg to hold. I said, no, I'm not going to hold it. <laughs> and this place name is? Al Andalus. And they bring heaps and heaps and heaps of food. First, they bring the salad with very hot, spicy stuff and like a, like a flat, flat bread, which is divine. Then they bring more bread, they bring fries, and then they bring the lamb. Well, as claimed, the lamb was brilliant. It was, it was just way too much. It was like half of the super that we gave So we didn't finish it all, but it was super. Okay, so today we're going to have a shaky camera. We only have our big camera here because customs thought it. We are super spies with five GoPros <laughs> and two drones and they just took all the cameras and all the drones so we are here with the big camera so no fancy shots no just us walking here and it is all town So we decided to 
personalize matters a bit by sending um, some of our Patreons uh, uh, handwritten postcard from each new country that we visit. So we're currently in Tunisia and it's that time again so there's a lot of writing for and we're so used to typing so writing takes a bit longer than normal. So here we go, a couple of postcards to write. This is saying goodbye to our 36 hour stop over in Tunisia on our way to Turkey. It's nights like this that you just, you, you, you know you, you will have very, very, very bad nights and or days or weeks even. But the majority of the time is this. It, you're on a sailboat doing very nice speed and there's lots of little fishing boats around you at the back of us. That's a, that is always a bargain, not in front of you. And a beautiful sunset and a, and a bride. And a beautiful lady. What else do you want? And so there's so many nights that we look at these things uh, like this, exactly this setting. And they definitely outweigh the few nights or even a week of really horrendous five meter waves and heavy 40, uh, like 34 knots of true wind, um, 40 knots of apparent wind. So it is, those days are crazy. but these days are so rewarding that you actually kind of like forgot how it was a week ago and just so nice and with sisu rum hmm. oh, it's about an hour for a sunset but an amazing beautiful sky and so sometimes we can sit in front and other times we can sit here at the back <laughs> And it is just always amazing to see the sunset. So many sunsets and so many days. I mean, and every afternoon or every night, it's different. Complete unique picture every single time you look at it. It's never ever the same. And it, you know, some of our friends told us, "Why are you risking your life at sea?" <laughs> it is like really sometimes. Yeah, we also think about the same thing <laughs> because it is some nights it's just like super crazy and the wind is crazy and the sea is crazy and and, and then That's not, uh, not even three or four days later you see this the, these kind of evenings you see the big ships over there and the sunset and you just think wow that <laughs> is good yeah this is so <laughs> nice this is it. Just to prove to you guys that we always go over all the outcroppings and things to try and catch a fish. Look at this. We've got all the gadgets here and we're going to go over a pinnacle. We're currently in about 1,000, 1,500 meters of water. And the pinnacles go up, come up all the way to 11 meters, 11 meters. So we're going to miss them because we're not sure whether we're going to eat a rock or not. So, but we have the forward sonar on, we have all of these things on, check this. Yeah, so, Peter even went down and put on our underwater lights. We... So we really try everything to catch a fish. <laughs> now, currently we all think we are a fish attracting device, a FAD. One, it it huh? was Impi, no? Yeah. Brent from, from Impi. You, you said it's not a FID, they call it FFID. <laughs> Fish attracting device with an F in front of it. <laughs> this is now a fad. Fish attracting device, but it is marked. Well, sort of, but it is marked. And here comes the fishing boat. <laughs> that is looking for the FAD. USC Symphonia. A huge 905 foot boat. I have to speak to the man in charge to get him to alter. Of course, because he was ramming up our backside. At 5 o'clock in the morning, not fun.
I need to get a very important ingredient for this. My dear, another trick is coming up. Woo! This is our first Greek island. We've just entered the Greek zone. a warship Greece was going crazy about this guy the Greek radio was saying all the time Hellenistic Navy is saying this guy is violating some peace agreements by having a warship in a in an innocent zone there is all sorts of little coves and so so cute and in the little Turkish boats with the big red flags they are so proud of their flag and then all sorts of boats look at this boat I hope that's a barbecue uh, not gone wrong but you know a smoky barbecue hello Turkey 26 days at sea which has been a experience of note from highs to lows to high winds to no winds to storms we are arriving in Turkey where our dearest friends are waiting for us so awesome to know no more watching night watches for a very long time they're rich and famous <laughs> yeah, and I don't give this a rat's ass for anyone around me and this is probably a baby there in the marina I think we're gonna see much bigger than this there is a yacht club and then the super yachts and there are friends we're gonna anchor within a minute Marcelo, our friends from which we met in Cape Town and then again in Mandalo. Here they are. We are anchored right next to them. We haven't seen them since April. <laughs> so Frick is waiting for this. Oh! in a cry moment but I won't but I'm very super excited to see them <laughs> I might cry I don't know <laughs> yeah wait. they come in a very very tiny dinghy and the sea state is not really conducive for this little boat <laughs> but it's coming <laughs> Five 
Okay, we're all here on Sisu. Oh, all yeah. friends. Oh, no. <laughs> Fun, dearest, dearest. Mm. Awesome friends of And look us. what they brought us. Champagne and all okay. sorts of stackies. Very nice. <laughs>